Still here in Sonsonate and currently I am at the Aroma Cafe. So why would I stop by a place with such a English or Latin name, Aroma? Aroma. Let me see. First, Señor, ¿es la, la palabra es Aroma? ¿Es that Español or Latin? Aroma. Español. Español? I stand corrected. So, I decided to stop by the Aroma Cafe not because of the name, but because I saw this right here. And this is hamburguesas. Many of you will remember, when I was in San Salvador, I had one of the best hamburgers I've ever tasted in my entire life. The Tortas Mexicanas, right? That's the number of this place. Decided to get a little bit of lunch. So hamburguesa, two carnes y queso for $1.90. I don't need that much. And I'm not gonna get the most expensive thing either. What is your name? Jennifer. Jennifer. Hola, Jennifer. I want an actual hamburger to see how great the meat tastes here at this restaurant. So this is how they make their hamburguesa and tortas. Just like that. All right. I'm loving the bread. It is hot. It, this is freshly made. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a nice bun with sesame seeds. We have some lettuce two meats of hamburger but they're rather thin but whatever they're probably really good as well let's see tomato cheese and mayonnaise let's hit it Woo! i like it mm. wow now that is some tasty meat All right this burger is better than a mcdonald's burger it is better than a Burger King burger. It's even better than Jollibee. Let's take another taste. Mm. That mayonnaise helps so much. Oh my goodness. Really good. I have to think Abuela in front of me. Abuela, Abuela. Oh yeah. Muy sabor. She knows it's good too. She made it. I love that the bread is toasted. Mmm. 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 That meat. Oh, follow me. Watch out for that chucho, cuz. All right, and that hamburger set me off to essentially try another hamburger in El Salvador, and that's what I'm gonna do. So. I looked at the menu and I went inside and I saw that the Aroma Cafe also sells breakfast. They have waffles with miel, with some corn, waffles with caramel, but they also have hamburguesa de res, that's hamburgers with a quarter pound of meat just for only $2. Now where could you get hamburgers just for $2 with a quarter pound of meat? I know McDonald's doesn't sell it for that cheap. So I was like, you know what, let's go for it. And they also have hamburguesa with pollo. So I was like, you know what? Let's try that. Usually I eat the meat, but today I'm gonna try it with pollo, hamburguesa de pollo. So that's what I'm here to do. Let's try it out here at the Aroma Cafe. So my friend here, I think he said, uh, ¿Cuánto minutos para um, hecho the hamburguesa de pollo? ¿Cuánto minutos? Diez. Diez minutos. You see that? He said 10 minutes for this hamburger to be made. I am not upset at that. Yes, McDo would only do it in one minute, but what they do is they put it in the microondas. Here, no microondas. No. Hecho natural. He does it fresh por manos. Todo artesanal. Todo artesanal. So, in cuál es tu nombre? Carlos. Carlos, okay, this is Carlos here at the Aroma Cafe here in Sosanare, and I will wait 10 minutes for my burger and I'll show you how it tastes. Vaya. Gracias, Carlos. Yes, I have a channel on YouTube. You want to see? I'll show you. Uh, JC Max. J A Y. Oh, let me help you. Let me ayuda. So C and Max. Este. Vaya. So you see me with the sombrero. Yeah, see Sonsonate, Santa Ana. Yeah, sí, me. Yeah, yo. Yeah, yo lo había visto hace unos cinco meses en San Salvador. Oh. En el Playa. Oh, you saw me? Si, si. Mira a mi. Si. Vaya. Ok, en San Salvador, yes. Gracias. Alright. Yeah. 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 
San Francisco. Este, desde aquí comencé a verlo. Ah, oh, wow, muchas gracias. Oh, well, now you see me in real life. Vaya. <laughs> cool. Chivo, chivo. <laughs> ah, that's cool. He seen me before about five months ago, I think he said. Oh, yeah. Chica. Ah, vaya. All right. Muchas gracias, okay? Oh, yeah. So you got some salsa de picante? Sí. All right. Chile. Chile. Uh, vaya. All right. So he gave me some chili sauce. I'm not sure if I need it, but we'll see. I'm going to taste it by myself, okay? Muchas gracias. Got the last one. Oh, yeah. Gracias. Buen provecho. All right, guys. So. Here at the Aroma Cafe, they definitely made sure they took their time to ensure that I was getting the best chicken sandwich. I see that it already has some type of sweet sauce on there. Look at that. And we have some like, like two chunks of chicken with lettuce. I see that we have a cucumber back there. And let's see what else we got. Oh, wow. We also have some tomatoes, okay, with mayonnaise. Wow. What a combination, guys. What a combination. So. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and do a mukbang for you and let you know how it tastes here at the Aroma Cafe. Let's do it. Thank you, Lord, for this food and Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. Oh, wow. Wow, it's so big. Oh, oh, oh. It's hot, too. Super hot. It's fresh. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Mmm. Mmm. Super good. The sweetness of that red sauce that you saw definitely gives it a kick. The freshness of the chicken, baked ever so slightly, not too hard, but it's actually crunchy at the same time. Wow. This is one of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had. Mmm. 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 Wow. Wow. It's really good, guys. Let's take another bite. Mmm. Even better the second time around, guys. This is definitely a burger that I think will fill me up for at least the next four hours without needing to eat anything. Really good. So, if I was to rate this burger, this chicken hamburguesa de pollo, Overall, the taste of the burger is good. The only thing that I don't like is that the bun is toasted well, but it's toasted in such a fashion that when you squeeze into it too much, it starts to crease in and it starts to break apart. So because of that, I have to give it a 1.5 deduction. So other than that, everything is super good. So I'm gonna give this an 8.5 out of 10. Mmm, it's good. All right, guys, more to come on my next video. Thank you very much for joining me. And keep in mind, if you want to see the other food videos that I mentioned, make sure to click this link right here above my head, and you'll see the different foods that I ate here in El Salvador. More specifically, the hamburger video. Hamburgers in El Salvador are the best. Have a blessed day. Mm. Wow. Mm. Gracias. Gracias. The guy gave me a heart symbol. I don't know what that means, but okay.